So I've never really watched the Dakar Rally in previous years. So this year for 2022, I thought it'd be a really good time to really get in the mood for some motorcycle content and watch 14 days of the Dakar Rally from the 1st of January to the 14th of January. But there were 300 plus vehicles and 7,000 kilometers. This year is gonna be especially interesting as we see the introduction of Audi Sport where the revolutionary hybrid electric RQ e-tron is a turning point for the future of Dakar with an eye on moving to zero emissions by 2030. But this video is going to be focused on the motorbike elements and where you can watch the Dakar rally over the next 14 days. So this year, 2022, it's the third outing in Saudi Arabia. The starting point in Jeddah is mainly for scrutineering to ensure all are ready to undertake the event before undertaking a short special stage, 1A, of around 20 kilometers prior to arriving at Hayel. This is to sort out the starting order of the first official stage. 1B is a loop around Hayel, mainly of flat sands, hills, and huge descents. Stage two from Hayel to Al Atawahi is a marathon stage with a mix of sand and dunes. Stage three is Al Atawahi to Al Kasema, the second stage of this marathon with a mixture of sands and dunes and long, fast, flat sections to reach the destination. Stage four, Al Kasema to Riyadh, first real navigation challenge with lots of tracks and then dunes and tracks to finish. Stage five and six are loops around Riyadh followed by a rest day which means four days will be spent in the capital. Stage seven is Riyadh to Al Dawadimi, a long 700 kilometer section with a number of dune sections with a tough navigation. And stage eight heading south from Al Dawadimi to Wadi Ad Dawaseh, the longest stage over 800 kilometers so late finishes are expected. Stage nine is a short special loop around Wadi Al Dawaseh and stage 10 is another relatively simple fast stage from Wal Adi Dawaseh to Basha at around 300 kilometers and no dunes. Stage 11 is a technical 300 kilometer loop around Basha and stage 12 is Basha to Jeddah is a short special with a focus on navigation. There are people and riders from all different nations and different countries, but the British hope is a gentleman called Sam Sunderland. So since he became the first British winner of the Dakar in 2017, Sam Sunderland has been working hard to get back on the top step of the podium. He's come pretty close to third in 2019 behind his teammates and third again in 2021. So 2022 could be his year. At Dakar 2022, the 32 year old will be trying to land his second title with a new outfit. After six editions with Red Bull KTM, he has signed for the official Gas Gas team. He's been forced to abandon the Dakar on five occasions due to crashes or mechanicals, and he remains one of the quickest men over the dunes, and he's hungry for the second title with his new team. His bike, which I know you're gonna be all interested in, is the KTM 450 Rally Factory Replica, designed for multi-stage cross-country racing and available to buy in its basic form from KTM, although there are, I believe, 80 units only for this limited edition model. It's 450cc, fuel-injected engine, closed cartridge, forks and fully adjustable shock. It has a premium quality Akrokovic exhaust. Safety is taken really seriously at the event and the development of airbags, especially the Alpine Stars Tech Air Race airbag vest has been a key contributor to rider safety. Now I believe this, this airbag system is unique to the event but you can get the retail version which is a tether-free airbag protection system designed for 
use with the Alpine Stars Tech Air race jackets. Should the system sense a crash, it can trigger and fully inflate the airbag in 45 milliseconds, providing comprehensive protection all across the main parts of the torso. The Tech Air is ready straight out the box as well, which is really nice. And it has a second charge deployable as well. So if you are in a race and it deploys once, you can get back on and have a second um, charge as well, should you need it. There is a full review on the retail version on Revzilla, which I'll leave in the link below. And it really goes into detail about a 15 minute review of that airbag. Where can you watch the Dakar Rally? You can watch it on a number of platforms outside in the links again below, but outside of YouTube, where you will get highlights, especially from the Red Bull page, Flow Racing, is a streaming service, but that will require a subscription. And you can watch all the highlights on Eurosport 1 and 2, and they give the highlights package approximately 24 hours after the race event. So you can watch the prologue at 8 p.m. UK time on Saturday, the 1st of January, and then stage one at the same time, 8 p.m. UK time on Sunday, the 2nd. So that's it. That's a quick rundown on the Dakar 2022. I'm still learning about all the Dakar racing. This will be the first one I've watched, uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, off the back of my Wells 500 mini Dakar-ish type race, good enough for me. Um, this is type of racing has become really, really uh, interesting to me. So really hope you enjoy it. If you are watching it, uh, please leave any comments below, any stuff that I've missed or you think I should be uh, talking about or, or, or making note of. And if there are any better places to watch it live, then please let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoy the race. All the best for 2022 and I will see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>